How many times have we heard that? Jeremy Corbyn there. Well, we asked for an interview with someone from Labour's front bench team about Jeremy Corbyn's speech, but none of their 126 front benchers, yes, we counted them, were available today to talk about it. But we are joined now from Liverpool by the Labour activist Jasmine Beckett and here in the studio by the businessman John Mills. He chaired Labour Leave. Welcome to both of you. Jasmine, tell us exactly what you want Labour's Brexit policy to be. So I'm a part of a campaign called Labour Say and we want to um, give our Labour Party members a vote on what our Brexit policy should be. 80% um, of our Labour members have said that they would like to remain within the single market and I believe that that is uh, best for working people and uh, in fitting with Labour values to maintain a single market membership. Hasn't the argument moved on, though? We just heard Jeremy Corbyn there again talking about the customs union, but Labour have decided that the UK is to come out of the single market. Yeah, I mean, um, it was a welcome U-turn on the customs union, but we are um, waiting to hear that on the single market membership. Now, we know that Labour members do not support coming out of the uh, single market, and that is why we want to, with the Labour Say campaign, we want to empower members to allow them to have a say and tell Jeremy Corbyn exactly what they think Brexit should look like. And, where, and when would you like this vote to be? How should it be done? Uh, so we've got our annual conference in September and that is how we make our policy and we are obviously a member-led movement mm. and we believe that our members uh, should have a say at that conference. Right, Jasmine, stay with us. John, well, she's right, isn't she? Um, I mean, Jeremy Corbyn talks about democracy and allowing the members to have a say. The majority of them back staying in the single market. Shouldn't they be allowed to voice that? Well, we had a referendum on what our relationship was going to be with the European Union in 2016. And we were told by the government uh, at the time that the parliament would respect the results of that referendum. We then had MPs by a very large majority agreeing to trigger Article 50. Uh, and the, they were all elected in the 2016 uh, general election on the basis, or nearly all of them, that they were going to respect the result of the referendum and, and go ahead with, with Brexit. And now they all want to reverse it. I mean, what is democracy about if it's not taking a decision and then implementing it? Right. What do you feel about uh, the Labour Party saying that we should stay in a customs union? Are you in favour of that? Well, I think if you're in a customs union, uh, then you're effectively in the, in, in, in the single market anyway because the two overlap very substantially. So you think they've pretty well betrayed people on that, then, the Labour Party? Well, I think that what we ought to be doing is coming out of the customs union and the single market... Uh, and then negotiating a free trade deal along the can Canadian lines. Right. I think that would keep most people happy. I mean, Jasmine, it's true. The referendum has happened. Uh, the people had their say, and 17.4 million of them said we should leave. And that meant, in many people's minds, most people's minds, leaving the single market and the customs union. It's too late to reverse that now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, and we're not suggesting that. You know, we... Um, are trying to get the best deal out of Brexit. We should not be sleepwalking into a hard Brexit where Theresa May and Boris Johnson are at the helm of that. Um, it was a vote, but it was not the single market and the customs union was not on the ballot paper. And I don't believe that people voted in to, to leave that. John? Well, there were endless statements made during the referendum period about what coming out of the EU was going to entail, and this entailed coming out of the customs union and, and the single market. So I think the situation on, in that respect is really clear. But to be in the single market and the customs union but not in the European Union and therefore having no say in, way, in, in the way the whole operation develops seems to me to be the worst of all possible worlds. And do you think that... Labour Party members should be given a vote on this. Bear in mind, most of them are Remainers or certainly tilting that way. Uh, do you think Jeremy Corbyn should do it? Oh, definitely. I mean, the Labour Party has a democratic process and the Labour Party conference is the place where this is done. But I... And, and, and I assume that Jasmine and her friends are going to do that. And we do have that, these very vigorous debates inside the Labour Party. But I want to say to John that it's really a little bit unfair to say we live in a democracy. We actually live in a parliamentary democracy. Referendums are not things that we, we are used to. I think the, the decision to call a referendum was a catastrophic error on the behalf 
of David Cameron. But we live in a parliamentary, it's our, it's our parliamentary representatives. And by the way, you know, we fought civil wars and died in, in order to have a parliament that would decide on these things. Our, if our parliamentary system cannot sort out the terms on this deal and do it properly, only then, I think, uh, should it go out to the public. But really, I want, I want the British Parliament to, set, to well, sort this out. I think the out. problem here is that there is a large majority in the Labour Party in favour of Remain. Mm -hmm. There's probably a majority in the Conservative Party in favour of Remain as well. But 52% of the country took a different view. The problem is that the party system doesn't represent at all, effectively, the sort of choices that people wanted to make about yes. Europe. But the thing is, they didn't vote for a Boris Johnson or a Jacob Rees-Mogg's type type leave, which is, is really just going to put us into the pocket of Donald Trump and is going to align us with the far right of the, of the Republican Party in the United States. They didn't vote for that. They voted for greater autonomy over money and okay. over borders and so it on. All we're, right, we're going to have to end it there, but John Mills and Jasmine Beckett, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you.